Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a new video. With you today, what we are going to explore an obelisk were constructed by the Rothschild in Palestine or occupied Palestine and yeah you have a thing which is concrete which is a fake block not, might not be original one but that we are going to see in the video and they repaired it you see So, to find this place, I needed, of course, to fight the elements, you know. I was walking and walking for long hours, and finally, on the end of my path, I found Now you can actually see it's on Google Earth right there. You can see the obelisk. The quality is not very good, so I'm not zooming. But you have here also. Maybe because they couldn't put the obelisk back on those they used fake concrete one but those are original so you see pretty amazing right so what do we have around us we have factory agriculture it's pretty lost you know so i needed to access from this lost nothing this is Caesarea, by the way. Ancient Phoenician town. I show you what we found in Phoenicia, Caesarea. And uh, you can see the Israelis, they do some oil, gas, or I don't know, here in the in the in the ocean. I wonder if it's very clean and you have this huge stuff but okay you can now see it's it's not it was not easy to get there so leave a some up if you like the video we're gonna see together what is it really and uh, you have the city of Caesarea I will do a video on Caesarea and you see it's pretty much lost here and uh, on your right here is Haifa it's the north and uh, to Lebanon yeah to Balbec and all that and um, what we found is that actually the place on Google Earth tells us so Caesarea and they say it's Aswan granite so it looks like this and also you have marble and uh, of course it's petrified wood of a certain kind I wonder what was this originally. Um, we're making research on glass and everything. But the mineral, this stone, yeah, it's very rather interesting. This is, was found close by um, to the obelisk in Caesarea. See the funny legs they made to him. But this is Porphyr. And we're going to see what is Porphyr 
in a second. So Porphyria is a mineral, and we stay in the English side, the French side, because there is. So there is the Porphyria red and the antique green Porphyria, which is serpentine. Interesting for those who like serpentine. And um, I'm staying the French side because they have the best pictures. Yes, it changes why with the language. Funny. So that was the way the Phoenicians cut the stone. And we're going to see how Solomon maybe cuts stone with some technique. We're going to see in this video, guys. And you can see this big ass ball, right? I mean, come on. Really? That is amazing guys. And you have of course the Phoenician lion lions. So this is stolen from the Phoenician. This is in the Vatican. Stolen history. And um what else do we got? We got a coffin. The Phoenicians love it. In my past video, I shared one sculpture, and uh, pretty much like this one. And uh, this is amazing, amazing one. They loved it, isn't it?
sorry guys i <laughs> i just had a call and it was a good call so i'm pretty happy and uh, this is the image i made myself on the phoenician and uh, the holy land this is probably edinburgh in uh, scotland but yeah they had technology to carve and to scoop the stone this as one granite and uh, I think if that's not fascinating I don't know what is fascinating no but this is King Solomon if you could see and he had the technology to carve it so in the past video I already showed the balls the balls the boy balls, but don't play with words, yes. But, um, yeah, those ones. And it was used perhaps for Aether tech also. One in China, I guess. Very impressive one. And uh, in this map, you have it, and uh, there were higher people, like explained in past video, due to the shrinking every reset. So I just share a video on the druid, talking about resets, and uh, pretty interesting. So, yeah guys, we are in this video now. Really, this is the marble and the, the quarry, so they could quarry in the ancient times, they could quarry, but this is repaired by the Rothschild money. This is Aswan granite, and this is cement, I think it's fake, we're gonna see in a minute. I have better quality. And um, here you have big scooping, isn't it? And uh, it's even better when you have the own stuff. So I say that it's petrified wood, the granite, the marble. They have different color. That probably depends on what wood. I know it's incredible, but that might be what is right. This is actually actual petrified wood. I think it's opal, opal, right? And uh, we're gonna see now the obelisk that I struggle to walk into all of this for you and for me for us like this with a machete and that you know what I'm saying to find this okay so we okay for that we can see what is Hellenistic stuff and then it sticks stuff. Oh la la, that's beautiful, isn't it? I'm really doing a lot of Hellenistic research. This is in the Louvre in Paris. Oh la la, we we'll need to go to the Louvre. Oh, they like gold. And this is a slag of glass inside the. Bet-Shearim, the scooping, ancient scooping. It was glass that they petrified. So if you wonder how to do petrified glass, um, there is this video of this guy. Actually, actually, he really did it, you know, boom. You know, boom. You know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom. You see this? It just makes sense. Whoo! So, basically, what he did was instant silification and petrification and make glass. It's very impressive. But it's not plasma, but it's close, but. And watch this. I took screenshots. And uh, yeah, sunlight, raw energy, 3D, blah blah. 
technology to create this. Pretty impressive, in fact. What do you can make a bow or something? And this magic. Can you say magic? Ah, oh, we are crazy humans. We do crazy stuff. And uh, yeah, that's the melting. Look like trichomes. <laughs> For those who knows. And um, yes, guys, that's so interesting, right? So how did King Salomo, Shlomo, that we have here represented, knew about the technology, the carved stone? This King Solomon that here looks like, yeah. Pretty much Irish, Scottish. This is the marble quarry of recent times. I don't remember any. This is throne. Oh, that's this throne. And this throne is, used to have lions there. Magnificent throne, apparently. The Aswan Granite and the Porphyr, both loved by the Phoenician, which are also in Egypt. So I reckon now we can slide to my proper picture. Let's do an exploration. But maybe, first, we shall learn a bit about this stop. Like, so... So guys, like, this is a, a wrong image, right? But perhaps also those guys, if they if they're represented as reptilians, they had technology, but they didn't make the pyramid. Okay, this is fake information, that image, but it shows the the stuff, you know, how to cut rock even, like, crazy. Now we're going to slide into this Shamir stuff that was found in the medieval, <laughs> so-called, age. And this is slow-mo, and this ball, once again, of Aether purposes and um, this is Shlomo in, uh, in uh, golden times and his temple could have been made like this original temple would have been in Edinburgh due to my research for what does involve me and uh, you have this I Irish text this creature is eating warm that could create this temple actually very interesting so you have here you can take screenshot read for you the Shamir can cut the rock with a gaze, laser like gaze, intensity of it, laser like gaze. I think they synthesized the stone like a technology out of this natural aspect. That's what I think. So you can screenshot, take it for you, I share it later the links. Um, this is supposed to be the demon that gave Slomo um, was given the Shamir was given to Shlomo as a gift from Asmodee, the kings of demons. Um, the Shamir, uh, yeah. So you see, you have all of it now in front of your eyes.
this supposedly is the green stone in the, the, the text, the ancient text, the old Torah talks about it so you have it here, you can read, play pose in my video um, and so that will explain how he, uh, the, the, the link with stone and the Shamir it's just fascinating, you know so what do we have what else do we have? We have the worms, which is the actual Shamir that they found in modern days. Spooky, isn't it? Imagine what felt like this in your stomach. Why will it end up there, you ask me? I don't know. But now we can slide into my picture, isn't it? Perhaps before we can find a nice video, um, nice, nice stuff. Yeah, I'm stealing, stealing picture, picture from Victor Bug, the boogeyman. But that's not the point. Today, there is this temple, Shlomo Temple. Thank you for finding such good picture. I didn't took time to ask or whatever. Just took it. But that was a nice one. Nice one. And he shared many stuff. You should watch his video with Philip Druzini's last video, his nice video with the Boogeyman man. Really cool. Holy fans, huge creator. <laughs> I think it's crazy. But actually now Matter of fact, let's get serious. And actually, after 24 minutes, slide into the real interesting stuff. So you have this coping mark. This is my pictures now. Yeah. Now it's my pictures. It's Hugo, some guy. It's yeah. Beautiful stuff. Amazing. That's megaliths. That's true knowledge of megaliths. Show this video to the team of megaliths YouTuber who doesn't speak about petrified wood. But in fact, to cut this granite, the Phoenician used technology laser cuts. Same as the Hellenistic times. You can really see the quality and how it was burnt with the time. But the granite seems quality.
So now you can see that I don't know if you could read for yourself, but uh, they say it's a monolithic obelisk made of as one granite. And um, was ornamented with marble, very interesting water basins. Um, ornamented with water basins, okay. And the erection was, of course, uh, to Rothschild, which is what they do in Israel, they, they appropriate history, etc. But yeah, so now we are questioning this stone. It doesn't look really much like this one, does it? Do you feel that this stone, which is ancient and rotted, eroded, and this stone, which is not eroded and look like modern cement, Probably why they did it was because this is really heavy and uh, they didn't have the enough support to do it. So, but it's good to be interested into that and could say like, okay, this is a megalith block, blah 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 blah. But no, the real megalith block was this one, and the original one, I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure. This this that's the one. That's what I'm saying. You see. You see what I'm saying? It's quite logical. This modern, modern cement. I think it's it's not it's not that. Okay. This is me, of course, having fun. Because if you're not having fun, what are you doing in this life? You understand what I'm saying? And um, there's nothing wrong with having a bit of fun. And if you're intelligent enough, you can have much fun. So, this is repaired, and this is the real stuff megalith obelisk of the ancient use of Aether, like I said. Pretty much impressive stuff from the Phoenician, if you ask me. This is the real deal, and this is the fake, but it's okay, they made a good job regardless. It's huge!
How did they cut that in just one block? Of course not this. It's amazing. The old block that you see above. That is the real deal. Capacitor of aether energy. Impressive. Nice bird. Thank you, bird. Amazing. 
J'arrive uh, So much pressure. Too much pressure. Here, huh? Only come once. In my life. It's okay. In the middle of nowhere. You also have this big, huge block. Beautiful. Mm. Some great technology to carve this earth, don't you agree? So that's a beautiful collection of photos I got. <laughs> you learn more about the Phoenician as much as I do their history the Celts history is being stolen so we have to take it back ancient Scotland was stolen by the Romans here the end of Phoenicia This is a satirical drawing, but the other ones are pretty dead serious. And um, I have so many good stuff. Ibernia, island called island called Ibernia, linked to Hyperborea. A uh, situation in the in the world. So you're with me in the quest, this is my last video, I hope everybody liked it. Um, I work with Astrid and uh, Alan and other of my friends. We're doing alternative history. And uh, I should end by this very interesting stuff, so this is the very interesting also. Think about the realms and stuff, electromagnetic spectrum. But now we should get interest into very, very, very interesting stuff, my friends. Those I shared in the last video, and you can you can see my past video, in fact. But the one I was to talk about, it's. It's different now. We have more clues day by day, guys. The research never ends. I can show you the memes I made.
But of course, this article is more interesting, right? This Trump being Scottish. What? You can say to me, what? So we have this conspiracy of the stone, yeah? Like, really, really, really interesting stuff, guys. I, in my past video of the Druid, I started the article, right? You remember that? So it was this article on Trump being, 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 being more Scottish than. Okay, so one second. One technical problem. Nothing crazy. So you see I'm researching for you. Here we go! And um, we we was there, and I I cut. I don't know why my mind just went out of places. But there they talk about Ibania Island, like I said, and uh, the British Isle, and a link with the Phoenician and uh, the. The lions that were roaming in Scotland, like I said, because the weather was hotter. Uh, and what this article said about Scottish royal flag, the lion, blah blah blah. Teffy, she say all the story about Teffy, this 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 um, with the Neptune trident. Teia Teffy is Irish, Phoenician history here is the declaration of independence with the scots should free scotland again in my opinion they deserve it if they want it and uh, yeah the people of israel the exodus so yeah you see the exodus of really was the holy land of scotland and uh, the bloodline guys been corrupted. We made research and found out that it actually come from Jesus. It actually come from the bloodline. Um, I can show you if you want the bloodline I have. Um, because we're doing research here. We don't have time. We, must, I must show you the real interesting stuff, you know? If not, why, why do all this? So, Trump. From MacLeod family. Crazy. And that's... A woman is the Ivanka stuff and the Ashkenazi are Japhethites, not Semites, and the true Jews of Scotland. So that was the article I found in the stone, yeah, the stone. The stone, of course, the stone. But first, let me show you the list of the bloodline that we made our research on. So, of course, Neptune or Enki was the, the creator, but this, this one is confusing. But this shows that Jesus is brother of James the Just, which is King Arthur and the bloodline being corrupt in the times. And actually, Trump will come from this bloodline, such as Queen Elizabeth. Um, 
occupation to Jerusalem, Jebrezit, which is what in fact Scotland, Edinburgh. This is King Arthur, this is the brother of Jesus. And uh, I know it's crazy uh, and everything, you have to count new chronology in count. And uh, this is the bloodline I've got. And the harp, once again, I shall finish the video with the, with the harps. Once again. So we found out that, yeah, you have them, you can take pictures. This is the Lion of Scotland. Christ with James here again, King Arthur. You see here, and uh, that's all we got. You know, we have many. I'm talking we because I'm not alone in my research. I, I have many friends. So Shlomo was the son of David, and. Um, to James, to Jesus, two Enkis, you know, the creator and another one. I don't know what to think about it, if you know in the comments. But yeah, this is for the, for the true researchers, may I say. So this stone, yeah, which was in Porphyr also. In Porphyr, you remember in my video on this one, huh? I talk about it. Um, and there is a all conspiracy about that and the fake stones and everything. Um, so this is the image I had, isn't it? This is another one, I think a very cute one. Of this woman, this legendary. And uh, you have this one and her okay in the royal family of England also okay one in Porphyr stone the same as the Phoenician and the true Jews was maybe stolen and one was perhaps a petrified wooden box so this will be the petrified wooden box per perhaps this is a real and you have fake one, so this is one under, could be fake, I don't know. This one is fake, I think. I don't know what to think about it, if you know better, in the comments. This is the MacLeod, the Scottish tribe of... of Trump. Which, by the way, say that he was going to be president back in the... I don't know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. But yeah, Israel, Scotland, other land. This is the fake one. This perhaps is real. This perhaps is a petrified wooden box with stuff inside. Um. Yeah, perhaps he used it as a, to rest his his head. And this is the lions to his throne. Celtic legend, Jacob, right? And this is not for another time. This is Bruce, I think. But for another video with Scottish history for you guys. So I said uh, I was going to treat you with some stuff like harp, right? Well, you was right. You're going to see the harps I got. So enjoy.
it is in my city in Versailles, so it shows that it is a Celt Venetian city, just like Paris.
And this is what I'm talking about, about biblical lands. Read this book. Pleasure to share with you my great memes and cool stuff. Isn't it? We can also slide into my memes if you wish. If you made it that, that far, perhaps we can switch. is in Scotland. Impressive, isn't it?
you see here that Tartaria was an ancient name for Tartarus or Tarshish for Atlantis. And uh, this is the stream to other dimension and intraterrestrial, which is extra and intradimensional, if you know what I mean. And just like the Triangle of Bermuda and other stuff like this, uh, it's really stink about the Merkava of the Earth. And they have electric, electromagnetic entrance and points and stuff. Way away, away from your perception of naive existence. And uh, by the way, if you think that Marco Polo with this boat, little boat you see here, did in fact the magnificent uh, discovery of America and America, which is won't have any history, right? It's what you think so far. Uh, maybe not the per person who see this video because you may be aware of it, but maybe the people who trust the narrative. Um, I think it will be here, right? So I had a friend the other day. It, it said to me, "But you go. If the Phoenician constructed so many cities and so many amazing stuff." Why there is not high stuff like the big estate? We were in Paris and it's so big estate. And uh, I say to him, look mate, look, sometimes they keep it, sometimes they destroy it. So this is pretty huge in my humble opinion. And they choose to destroy it. Um, yeah, so you see here a magnificent the celestial sphere, absolutely amazing. America was just that when Christopher Columbus was there. And this place is still here, not demolished. It's the Palace of Heart. And um, I can show you what I have on it. But this is a pretty much impressive Phoenician edifice, which is the Tower of Crystal. And this is when it destroyed one of those. And this is the one that survived. That now they can say it's not real. It's very, very real. And that I can show you right now. I can show you right now. That this little baby. The Tower of Crystal. Whoa, this is cool engineering in Germany. Probably doesn't exist no more. But this place, yes, I have it, you know. Like, if I type on my computer. I have it, you know, it's in San Francisco, right? And uh, it's a place for higher people, just like Versailles, because they were higher. And uh, this is not fake stuff, it's real geopolymer engineering, or they cut even some time stone, like this redstone could have been cut, and this could have been geopolymer. 
and those could have been aether jars containing mercury. So we're learning a lot of stuff in this video. You see, very real. Thanks for Julie Ann on Facebook for taking those pictures. I could not travel to San Francisco. I was there when I was a child, but and you see the weathering is pretty old. I think it's exceptional masonry. And the South Harp here once again. So pretty happy I come out to show you this. And the connection. You have Antiquitech on the roof. It's just amazing, guys. I'm so glad I show you this stuff. And very high, very big for higher people. So this I presume is geopolymer, like cement. That's how they've done it. They try to repel one of these feet. And absolutely amazing, guys. It's not the rest of the world fair, it's the rest of Phoenicia. And they lie about it pretty much. But, yeah. And we have, thanks to Victor, I don't want to scratch the name, but Estotetit Land, which will be with Chris Land, the rest of Hyperboya, also good stuff we got. Um, and we have when the Romans took on Edinburgh, being Jerusalem, the Phoenician. Killing, destroying. And um, this is the comparison I made of the Celts being Scotland, Phoenician, the purple. Yeah, you need to watch my previous video. I was in a museum. You see? Jesus Christus, Leo Sacrius, Gaelic. This is the book. And it is in Scotland. So you wonder. Venetians. Scottish. Stolen. So. I hope. You like this kind of video guys it's really a pleasure to show you all of this and uh, all I can say to you today is wishing you a pleasant day on your quest and um, I hope you like this kind of video is quite long, but at least is enjoyable. So let's see together. Celtic cross, Venetian coin. You see the links. Venetian. The Polynesian. I talked a lot about the Polynesian in my past video. Um, Soon I will talk about the Dravidian tribes and others. 
and the Moluccan, this is the rape of Venetia, basically. So I'm French, so basically I will be Gallic. Okay, the Phoenician stuff stolen history. So this is really what I can show you today. I think it's already a big video, isn't it? In my past video I showed this place also being destroyed in America. Yeah. This huge place. Which in the um, they made a fake meme and I had to change it because this is Phoenicia, it's not Tartary. But that's why I made my research and not following anybody. Um I suggest you do the same. And on this path I hope it was enjoyable and I show you. So leave a thumbs up, maybe share it and uh, wish you the best and uh, for our next video very soon.